Uh, we have got some magic for you now live in the studio. Uh, Morgan and West is the name of the act. They are crime solving magicians. I'm going to get them to tell me how you solve crime using magic. But first, let's see a little bit of them in action. Morgan and West, everybody. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rhys Morgan. I'm Robert West. Together, Together we are Morgan, Morgan and West magicians. Time travellers. And all round spiffing chaps. And on our travels through time. And space. Mr Morgan here is trained with the timidest of Tibetan monks. The most mysterious of Mongolian miracle mongers. And the fakest of Indian fakirs. Yes. Um, and tonight we'd like to show you the most baffling of all the abilities taught and unto him. That's right. Hold on to your lead-lined undergarments. It's time for Seeing, Seeing with, with the, the Hand. hand. <laughs> now, for this feat of dexterous vision, we must first remove Mr. Morgan's ability to see through his eyes. And for this, we need the help of someone who is uh, trustworthy, incorruptible, and well versed in the art of blindfoldery. What's your name, sir? Stuart. Stuart, you join us on the stage, and I want to give you a huge round of applause. Yeah. Lovely to meet you, Stuart. How do you? Um, would you stand there for me, please, Stuart? Um, first of all, Mr. West is going to give you a roll of bandage. Uh, can you check that if you hold that up a, a few layers, it's opaque? Maybe double it up or, or something, just to make sure. Yep. Happy with that? Lovely. Yep. Just one end. Fantastic. Now, if you wrap that around my head, ridding me of sight through mine eyes, nice and tight. Now, Stuart, you have checked this. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's I've checked fine. this is real opaque bandage. That's marvellous. <laughs> just keep going until you're perfectly happy you cannot see through his eyes at all. <laughs> if he could breathe through his nose, that would be great. <laughs> just tuck one end in. Just tuck that in. Fantastic. There we go. Now, Lovely. Stuart, do you have on your person a bank card? Um, yes. I'm Excellent. Sure. Can you just take that out for yep. us? There we go. Marvellous. Now, uh, Stuart, there are a couple of questions we have to ask you on behalf of the people watching this before we begin. OK. Do you come up every night and do this trick with us? No. So we haven't arranged anything with you or told you what to do? No, I've never met you. Uh, now, the more observant people will have noticed that if Stuart did actually come up and do this every night with us, he would have answered that question in exactly the same way. <laughs> <laughs> and in case anyone has noticed that, we'd just like to say, stop ruining it for everyone. <laughs> right, would you first check that there's nothing, just lift the side of the bandage and check there's nothing in Mr Morgan's ears feeding information? When you've done that, would you clarify for everyone at home that you're wearing a mic just because we arranged this beforehand to get you yes. as a volunteer, but we didn't arrange anything with you? No, not at all. Just also clarify that we haven't seen this bank card before you came on. We didn't come up to you beforehand. No, just come up with now. Just finally, now if you could check uh, Mr. Morgan's hands, check there are no cameras, no mirrors, and the only thing they're upon is a definitely real googly eye. <laughs> I'm give you a card if you'd like to hold it so that it's pointing down towards the floor. Yep. Just above Mr. Morgan's outstretched left hand. Uh, lovely. Just hold it very still there. Thank you. Um, okay, here we go. The first thing that comes through is usually kind of an impression of colour, um, but this is... Uh, it's a blue colour, actually. I think a, a dark uh, a dark blue, possibly. This is a card from the, the Royal Bank of Scotland. Am I right? Yes. Yes, lovely. Um, then... Oh, uh, uh, blue, and, blue and red circles, I think. Um, uh, a, a master card, yes? Yes. Lovely. Um, I tell you, let's go for something much, much more specific. Let's say the, uh, let's say the numbers across the front of the card. Um, oh, no, wait. Uh, just the last four numbers, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just in case there are any ruffians or ne'er-do-wells out on this, this interweb thing. Um, is that okay? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Sorry, hold it very still. Uh, straight line and curves. Lots and lots of curves, actually. More curves than... Uh, so... Um, Oh gosh, um, threes? Double? No, it's a double at the end, isn't it? This is... Yes, okay. Um, okay, Stuart, now Mr Morgan's going to say four numbers and when he does so, if you read the four numbers on the end of your bank card, end of the long number, and if they match, I imagine the audience will go do lally. <laughs> is it... four, nine, eight, eight? It is four, nine, eight, eight. Go do lally, Mr Stuart, everyone. Thank you so much, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you very much.